the NBA. And tonight, it'll be the Memphis Grizzlies going up against the Milwaukee Bucks. Joined in the booth with Greg Anthony and Brent Perry, this is Kevin Harlan, our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. DA, it's all yours. Well, Kevin, the Grizzlies now have a swagger about them, and they don't mind doing a little jawing. If they ruffle some feathers along the way, Jaron Jackson Jr. said, it's nothing new to us, we don't care. If they get mad, great. If they don't, that's fine too. We're gonna have fun regardless. We're going to keep talking. Guys, they're gonna keep playing as well. Mm-hmm, you're right. And <laughs> they play well. David, thanks. And Brent, finally it's here, the first game of the season. These players, like us, look like they were itching to get this game underway. Oh man, all the preparation, the training camp, the taping, the icing, the stretching, the coaching, let's get it going. Guys are ready to start this long marathon and we'll see who can come out on top. Now, the starting group for the Milwaukee Bucks. Middleton, the small forward, with Giannis Antetokounmpo as the power forward. Carter out there with Allen, and it's Lopez in at the center, locking down the middle. Go. And for the Grizzlies, Adams is the pivot for him, with Jackson Jr. at the four. Then there's Dylan Brooks. Then it's Morant, and it's Conchar in at the two. Now here's Brooks. Here's Conchar. Some solid defense from Anadokounmpo. And foul Memphis on the foul. shot, so he'll get a Jaren chance Jackson at the line. First, first That's foul. on Jaron Jackson. Team Hard to get upset at the defense there. Anadokounmpo is no easy Giannis matchup Giannis down low in the paint. This is his first chance two. at the line tonight. <laughs> and did he lay an egg at the stripe in their previous game? Couldn't get anything to drop. And that one misses. Well, Greg, with this Memphis Grizzlies team, you like how young and how hungry they are. It's very appealing. And these players have bought into the system. This is a selfless group that knows each other's strengths, and it's why they've seen so much success here of late. And the second free throw, good. You know, Brent, hard to believe that back in 2017, Giannis was winning most improved player. Well, it's been unbelievable growth, and it seems so long ago that Giannis came into this league, but we've been inundated with Tentacubo highlights in the biggest moment that the league has to offer, winning an MVP in the league, a finals MVP, and there's no question that Giannis has grown into one of the best that has ever played for the Milwaukee Bucks. Maybe one of the best ever. And there's a whistle. That goes on Dylan Brooks. That is his first foul of the game. And so it's Milwaukee now. Lopez finds Allen. Carter outside. Pass to Giannis. And no good. Now the Grizzlies take it the other way. They're getting their first look of the season at the Bucks in this one. It's not often we get to see this matchup, but it is a doozy when we do. Just two powerhouse teams facing off. Well, if I had a calendar, I would have circled this one. But I love it when they get together. Last year, they split the two games between them. And I'll bet their battles are just as tightly contested this year. And that one falls for Brooks. Unlike a lot of perimeter-oriented teams, GA offensively, the Bucks can really play inside out. No doubt. And, and teams pack in the lane against Milwaukee, but Giannis in particular is a terrific passer. And if you leave a shooter open, he tends to find it. 
That one falls, so he hits both of them. And you know, for proof of what Morant's done for the Memphis franchise, look at the offensive numbers. Grizzlies have made huge steps forward every year. Now here's Middleton. And the rejection by Jackson. And that one's good. Morant. Morant. And I'm amazed at Morant's ability to take contact and still stay in full control. Greg, the improvement since Morant arrived has been very steady. And the Grizzlies went from the 20th rated offense in his rookie season to number 16 in his second year, and then all the way up to number five last season. Ja has turned him into a powerhouse. Here's Brooks. Can't hit that one. Great D that time for Middleton. Giannis dishes to Carter. The Bucks working the ball around. He feeds it to Giannis. The fadeaway. Grizzlies with the rebound. That's 0 for 4 now. Time to slow it down and maybe get the best possible shot the next time down. Middleton with it. He's picked up by Brooks. And Carter has it in the corner. Here's Giannis. Some solid defense there from Jackson. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. Passes to Morant. Now Jackson. Here's Conchar. Six to shoot. And it's sent back by Lopez. Oh, that's out of there. Not a high riser, but Lopez using his frame. A smart block, if you will. Down low. And Giannis gets it to go. On the assist by Middleton. And he gets one to fall. And now one out of his first four. Brooks outside. Back to Morant. Outside for Jackson. And he sets that one in the back of the rim on the way in. Who's the best young catalyst in the game? Some people will say Doncic. Some will say Trey Young. And some might even say John Moran. Now here's Lopez. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. And there's the foul. Steven it's on Steven Adams. First personal foul. That's his first foul. And still early in the period. And they're only one foul away from being over the limit. And that rejection had some mustard on it. Huge, huge play. And making a statement right away. Letting them know they won't get any easy ones when he's around. And we're just over three and a half minutes into the first quarter. And the officials will call the illegal screw right there. That's going to draw a whistle every time down the floor. Not even close to being a legal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. And so here's Memphis. Here's Brooks. Great D that time for Middleton. And so it's Middleton with it. He brings it up for the Bucks. It's a three-point game. Pass to Antetokounmpo. Five on the clock. That shot, no good. Now the Grizzlies take it the other way. His touch has left him in this quarter. Nowhere close to the kind of output they need from him. And there's the pass to Morant. Here's Adams. Here's Conchar. Pass to Brooks. No good on the triple. Inside, here's onto Takumbo, and he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. And Giannis adding muscle to his frame for these types of situations. He'll keep getting bigger and stronger, but willing to take the hit. And Greg, even with teams daring Giannis to shoot from outside, his career three-point percentage stuck below 30%. And still an elite scorer because of his proficiency at the rim, but... It's been said before, if he adds the triple, 
he'll be truly unguarded. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. It's tied up with that one. Now, something that stands out about the Bucks is their versatility in their offensive package. I mean, they use penetration, they shoot to three, whatever it takes to beat a good defense. Now here's Morant. Outside Jackson. Pass to Concha. Morant outside. Memphis needs to get off a shot here. Brooks outside. The Grizzlies with another miss. And Brent, what would you say is the secret to the Bucks' deep offensive arsenal? Well, it's a variety of talents that they have on the floor. It's just a combination of guys who want to move the ball, want to move their bodies, and then get the ball to Giannis and he get out of the way. Now here's Morant. Jackson. Good and a nice assist from Morant. Jackson's got his second basket. And don't forget his dad played in the NBA as well. So Jackson probably grew up getting bumped all the time trying to score in the backyard. They get it again. Oh! Fans, fans, love that. Listen to that. I love that sound <laughs> in the arena. I think Giannis loves that kind of stuff right there. His dunks sometimes get vicious. Now here's Morant. Memphis moving that ball around. Here's Conshaw. The offensive rebound. Adams' shot is off. Milwaukee's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Harder on the wing. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Kicks it out to Al. A three pointer is right on target. Middleton right now staying aware of where his teammates are and hitting them when they're open. Brooks outside. Pass to Jackson. Milwaukee with the rebound. Giannis has got his fourth rebound in this one. Middleton the pass to Carter. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Middleton right now seeing the floor and delivering the ball well to his teammates. Good at finding the open man. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Now here's Morant. They need this. Here's Jackson. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And between his footwork and height, Jackson is a tough matchup for defenders. And here he takes full advantage and draws the foul. And a chance for just a second now to check out the scoring breakdown for the Bucks. How about the ball movement so far? I mean, the unselfishness, everyone here just playing for one another, and that can be infectious. Well, a lot of the players are doing a good job as well of scanning the interior part of the paint. All those inside looks, those are paying off. Some changes for Memphis. Clark, he's checked in for Adams. Williams comes in for Dylan Brooks. And Jones subbed in for Conshaw. Both free throws good from Jackson. And the defense of Jared Jackson Jr., it, it has become elite. Triple J finishing top five in 2022 in the Defensive Player of the Year vote. Now, here's Connaughton. Nine points last game. Outside Hill. Now the best to Nora. Port is trying to free himself. And another three one. for Milwaukee. Three. Greg, why do you think Jaron Jackson Jr. made that leap defensively in his game? Kevin Health. Jackson was finally back to 100% in 2022. The ability to kind of fully use his physical tools. And Jaron still learning from playing night in and night out. Now leading up to that massive Brooke potential. Lopez. And it's Brooke first Lopez first with the foul. That's foul. his first foul. Morant surveying the D. Jones, count the bucket, coming off a perfectly placed assist. Hey guys, we talk all the time about making the extra pass 
Clark there proving how important that concept is. Here's Nora. Pass to Lopez. Now here's Connaughton. Hill up top. Wide open look. And again, it's Milwaukee converted. The rhythm and timing right there, impeccable. And the experience of George Hill to recognize when to shoot off of the pass. So timeout call here. First for Memphis. And sometimes we see players who could have been pros in another sport. Pat Connaughton is one of those guys. It's been well documented that he played both basketball and baseball in college and was actually drafted in 2014. Now here's Morant. Clark left side. Williams outside. It's rebounded by Portis. Milwaukee leading by six. And with Connaughton, there's no question he had a shot as a pro pitcher. Well, a tribute to how athletic and how talented Pat was is as a pitcher, he had a mid-90 mile per hour fastball, which is tremendous when you think about it. It's fantastic that he's been able to carve out this career after the first couple seasons where it was on the brink, where he might have gone to Europe or back to baseball. Morant against Connaughton. Williams trying to break free, and it's Morant missing. And so it's Hill with it. He brings it up for the Bucks. Jones against Connaughton. Unloads from 13. Here's Lopez, and he slams it down right on top of Brandon Clark. Good size and the ability to carve out space. Lopez battling on the rebound. Passes it to Morant. Back to Williams. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. And Memphis making a change here. Aldama's checked in. Antetokounmpo's checked in for Milwaukee. Chris Middleton comes in for Pat Connaughton. Milwaukee leading by eight. Hill looking around. It's out of the Kumbo on the wing. Portis trying to free himself. And yes, it's good. As hot as he's been this quarter, the game plan is simple, folks. Get him the ball and get out of the way. Jones against Hill. Jones the best to Williams. The Grizzlies with another miss. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also. And Brent, how about what Chris Middleton has brought to this team? No question, a huge piece to that championship puzzle for Milwaukee. One of the best years that he has ever put together, which says something based on the numbers that he has put up throughout his illustrious career. And such a memorable season for this entire group. And... Chris Middleton stood out in some of the biggest moments. And the first one drops. Middleton improving his game, improving his confidence, coming back after injury and working to become better. Middleton hits them both. Well, when he gets into a groove at the free throw line, it doesn't just last for tonight. This might be two weeks, two months, something like that. Back to Morant. Outside, Jones. Pass to Eldama to stop the drought. Rebound, Milwaukee. Andre de Kumbo's got his sixth rebound on the night. The pass to Middleton. 127 left in the first quarter. Pass to Portis. The Grizzlies pull it in. Well, they shouldn't be giving that shot to anyone, but they certainly shouldn't be giving it to him. That's a big break for the defense. Morant kicks to Clark, and there it is for him. And this is what the coaching staff loves when they watch Clark, wanting to improve his shooting off the catch. Now, here is Hill. Middleton the pass to Nora. Lock at six. 
Fires it up. Here's Giannis. And the Giannis slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. And Giannis just playing right now with a very highly revved motor. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Here's Eldama, covered by Giannis. It's his first That's trip to the line. The and, and you know, you'll Talk take what you can give me from the free throw line. At Looking line at his numbers, two. just really not one of his strengths. Shooting in the low 60s last season. First one falls for him. Milwaukee making a switch. Donatons checked in. So after making the first, he goes one for two. And on the glass so far, it hadn't even been close. Hey, Bright, you look at the Bucks' recent success. Great coaching has got to be a big part of it. Yeah, and if you ask Coach Bud, a great Giannis Antetokounmpo is something that's a big part of it, too. So expected to win. This team is hungry to get back and compete at the highest level. Coach gets overlooked at times, but Coach Bernalzer has done a great job with this Milwaukee Bucks team. He's off on the first. And he's good on the second. We've got 22 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Morant outside. The floater. Chalk up two there. Morant's got his second bucket of the night. And it just seems like Morant is always ready to outwork the defense. A big effort pays off for him there inside. Down is on the Kumbo. He's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for Milwaukee. His work on the glass was outstanding in that quarter. Great rebounding. We'll take a quick break and then back. All right, Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And what stands out to you from the Bucks in this one? Well, one way to generate more offense, pound the offensive glass. That was the difference in the first. Keep plays alive with your activity. That's what it's about. And it's Antetokounmpo with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. And Milwaukee, looking at who they've got. We've got Ibaka. Bobby Porter's out there with Pat Connaughton. And then there's Antetokounmpo. And it's Carter in at the one spot. Shot clock at five. Here's Connaughton. Buries it from three-point range. Connaughton's got the lead up to 13 now for the Bucks. Another good play. This is how they built the lead. Calling on the right guys at the right time. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but... It's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Brooks misses. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. And that one's good by Giannis. And more and more the confidence of Giannis to be one of those go-to scorers. We're seeing those signs. And the Grizzlies with possession here. Down by 15. Carter against Jones. Passes it to Brooks. Pass to Conshaw. Over Giannis. 
The pass to Concho. Pass to Aldama. Brooks with no one around. Makes no mistake on the open jump shot. He doesn't take a lot of time to make up his mind. Brooks always thinking ahead, and he's in position before the pass is made. Back to Carter. Front pass the arc. Milwaukee keeping it alive. A new 14. Another shot. Trying to get open is Ibaka. Now here's Jones. His last outing, we saw him pour in 22. That one's off. He's now one for two. Bucks leading by 13. Outside, out of the Kumbo. Passes it to Connaughton. Shot from 12. The rebound by Steven Adams. Adams has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. The baseline jam. And the rejection by Giannis. Tipped away. Stolen by Brooks. And the call on the shot. It sends him to the line. First person it's on line. Bobby Portis. First team and the toughness of Brooks on display. Not fearing contact when he's looking Dylan to Brooks. score inside. Two he's shots. gone two for two at the line so far. First free throw is good. And home court advantage can give teams a huge lift. Greg, how different is it playing in front of the hometown fans? Yeah, it's huge. I mean, they give you energy. You don't want to let them down. So you tend to dig a little deeper when you're playing at home. Here's what Milwaukee's going with right now. Lopez comes in for Serge Ibaka. And Grayson Allen subbed in for Antetokounmpo. And both free throws good for Brooks. And there's a flexibility to Brooks's game. He can play a specific role for you, or he can be a high usage guy. It really depends on what a team needs from night to night. A wide open look here for Lopez, and it's good off the back rim and in. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. And the basket by Jones. And it's all about the release when you shoot the float. Carter looking around. Pass to Lopez. Allen for three. He gets hauled in by Adams. Adams has got his eighth rebound here tonight. Here's Conshaw. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. Bucks leading by 11. Connaughton passes to Carter. The Bucks working the ball around. Here's Lopez. The shot, no good. And Memphis the other way now. Here's Conchar, defended by Allen. Conchar can't get it to go. Yeah, this has been a night where you can look at his shooting and his performance, and it's affected the team. That's the bottom line. First personal foul. First team. The Bucks have gone five of seven from the free throw line of the game. Grayson Allen, two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. He hits the second from the line. The Grizzlies trail by 12. 
Jones looking for an opening. And the pass to Aldama. Great D that time from Portis. That's not going to make you a favorite target of your teammates. They'll think twice about feeding you if you're going to keep missing layups. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Pass to Portis. Kicks to Allen. And that's foul number two. And maybe you don't sit him at this point, but you really have to be careful to not pick up another before half. Brooks against Connaughton. It's stolen. And they're losing their concentration here, guys. Just sloppy with the ball. No good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Sharon Jackson's checked in for the Grizzlies. Chris Middleton's checked in for Milwaukee. At the line for your Grizzlies. Steven Adams at the line for one. And Adams, no good on that one. Well, Adams has his struggles at the free throw line, but he's making strides in that area and still has work to do. He made a great decision there to push the basketball up. Excellent teamwork. Here's Jones. To the inside, Adams. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Adams has got four points in the quarter. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Carter, the pass to Lopez. Allen, the bounce pass. Here's Portis. It's rebounded by Memphis. Adams has got nine rebounds in the game, getting it done. Outside, Jones. Passes it to Adams. Over to the left wing. Five to shoot. Gonchar, the pass to Jackson. Outside, Jones. Off target from three-point range. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. The Grizzlies trail by eight. Here's Gonchar. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Here's Brooks. It's rebounded by Portis. Portis has got six rebounds in the game. And this feels like it's snowballed a little bit on them. The more he tries to shoot his way out of this slump, the worse it seems to get. They need him to get it together. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. Yeah, no stopping him on that play. Sometimes even the taller defenders are helpless to stop him. So when a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to blow the whistle. Yeah, a quick little lean like that is going to get the ref's attention. Foul call. Middleton the pass to Portis. Here's Carter. That one misses. Good work defensively by Jones. Even if you're not shooting it, you like to see the effort level. And his tonight has been high. Adams trying to free himself up. They grab their own miss. Good D by Lopez. Bucks leading by 10. Middleton looking it over. And there's the feet to Lopez. Poke loose. Here's Conchar, defended by Carter. Conchar can't get it to go. Milwaukee's gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. They get the rebound. 
He's so good at getting to the rim. Maybe tries to get a little bit too cute with that one. I thought he'd lay it straight up and in. Brooks right side. Just three to shoot. And that's out of bounds. Memphis will retain possession. And the Grizzlies with some changes. Williams is checked in for Conchar. And it's John Morant in for Tyus Jones. And Milwaukee also making a switch. Antetokounmpo is checked in. Shot clock at two. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. And so Giannis will bring it up for the Bucks. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Thanks very much, Kevin. Not that long ago, of course, the analytical team shot way more three-pointers and they found a temporary edge. But now every team shoots a lot of threes and it's more about personnel. When it's a superstar shooting the ball, that mid-range jumper can be very efficient. Guys? And DA, we see it all the time. Brandon Ingram with the New Orleans Pelicans. KD. Uh, the two players in, in Phoenix with Chris Paul and Devin Booker. DeRozan in Chicago. We'll hit those all day long. David, thank you. Jackson finds Morant. Memphis moving it around. Can they get it? Almost, but it rolls out. Yeah, and they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. Mora, the pass, Giannis. And it's good, Giannis two points. Onto the Kumbo's got 16 points. So hard to stop down low. Giannis gets around the basket and feels like out. within eight feet he's going to dump just about anything. Now a timeout called by Memphis. You look at Anadokounmpo really making a difference here. And they simply have no answer right now for what he's doing to them. He is making them pay. Pass to Tillman. Left side, Jackson. Back to Morant. It's a good shot, and now he's three for seven. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And you know, one thing that impresses me with George Hill, his length, a, a 6'9 wingspan. I mean, for a guard, that's incredible. The other thing, Greg, that I think is advantageous is as you get a little older and George is in the twilight of his career just being smarter uh, about where you can play using that length against your opponents I think that helps him out a ton too the first one falls well whether George Hill has started which he's done a lot in his career or come off the bench he's a guy that you like in your rotation as a steadying force Free throws, good from Hill. A minute 50 left in the first half. The Grizzlies trail by 12. Williams outside. Trains the three-pointer. I think the defense has more concerns out there on the floor. And they give him a good open look from the perimeter. The pass to Nora. And here is Hill. Pass to Giannis. A shot missing. Some solid defense there from Jackson. Memphis has gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Here's Nora. It's back to Hill. Three pointer. Rebound by Williams. 
The Grizzlies shooting just 29% in the second quarter. The offense is suffering. He kicks it to Morant. Williams looking around. Shot clock at six. And the rejection by Giannis. Nora, the pass to Hill. Here's Nora. He's guarded by Williams. Here's Nora. The shot's good. Nora's got six. All right, he's got to quit while he's ahead. He got away with it there, but the crossover usually gets him into a bit of trouble. One second separating the shot clock and game clock. Morant outside. And the rejection by Giannis! And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks. Their lead at 11 points to end the quarter. A look at the field goal percentage numbers tells the story of what tough defense they're playing today. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Kevin, thanks. Here with Mike Budenholzer. Your defense has been very good. Why has that happened? Well, you know, I think our guys are committed on that end. Uh, everybody's active. Everybody's covering for each other. And we know how important it is. Mike, we'll see if it continues in the next quarter. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. It was a big time first quarter for Giannis Antetokounmpo. He had 16 points, 12 rebounds, and three blocks. And uh, Shaq, what did you see out there from the Bucs? They've really established themselves on the glass. Being dominant there has been extra possessions, which they've cashed in on. Now they just gotta, you know, bring the same energy to the second half. And now, Kenny, let's get your opinion on Memphis. Ice cold, frigid from beyond the arc. The question is now, can they shake it off and get back in the groove? Another option is compensate by going to the rim. <laughs> and that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. About to get underway. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. You look at Eddie Kumbo, and this game has been everywhere. Well, it didn't take him long to get that double-double. Already has it halfway through the game. Yeah, guys like him love to stuff the stat sheet. He's doing it here. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. At the forward spots, it's Brooks and Jackson Jr. Then it's Morant. And then there's Steven Adams. And it's Conchar in a shooting guard. And that's the group for Taylor Jenkins as we begin the second half. The Grizzlies trailed by 11. And it's Brooks in the corner. Adams trying to free himself up. And the rejection by Adetokounmpo. Well, Adams with the make them pay mentality right here from the free throw line. And uh, he's just had one attempt at the line earlier. Steven Adams taking two shots. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. Second free throw, no good. Bucks leading by 10. Giannis passes the Carter. Middleton against Brooks. 
Lopez kicks to Allen. Steps back and fires. It's rebounded by Memphis. Adams has got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. Grant. And then Morant grabs it in. Yeah, that's fire right there. Morant practicing for the dunk contest. I see you, young fella. Bounce pass on to Kumbo. Carter, the best to Middleton. Dishes it to Giannis. And the rejection by Jackson. And they start the second half with three straight misses. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Second person foul. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. He shot two free throws in the game, made one and missed one. Taking two shots. good on the free throw. Good on the second free throw. Right around a minute and a half. Played here in the third quarter. Morant kicks to Brooks. Back to Morant. Jackson in the corner. Shoots it up. Good. And a nice assist from Morant. Morant got his fourth assist with that nice one here tonight. And here's Middleton bringing it up now for the Milwaukee Bucks. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Back to Carter. And the layup falls. Carter's got his third bucket of the night. Yes, but they won drops after the 0 of 3 start. The Grizzlies trail by nine. Pass to Concho. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. And that one's good. Moran. Okay, good game plan. Start the second half. Three of four so far from the field. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. And Coach is looking to seize every advantage, maximize every possession. Got to feel good as a coach if you make all those adjustments. Hold the right strings. That's what they love to do. One more time, your Allen finds Lopez. Carter outside. Allen left side. Picked him clean. Here's Conchar, defended by Allen. Clock keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. Conchar, the pass to Morant. Just five to shoot. And the call is going to be. Yes, yes, it is. An illegal screen. Beyond the leaning, you could see his feet weren't set on that screen. Easy call. Got to hold firm or you're going to get a call. And that replay showed just how forceful that block was. And sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swat that one away. Morant against Carter. from the wing and again the Bucks miss yeah starting the half here one for five and the offense might need an ironing out and it's Morant missing well even though he misses that one the defense has got to talk about that and that's a bad miscue and you can't give up looks like that all game long 
Stanton at the top of the key. Lopez shoots over Adams. Lopez, no luck. The Grizzlies trail by six. Brett, when we talk about the evolution of basketball, Brooke Lopez is a great example. Well, this is one of the more head-scratching, remarkable, complimentary things that you could say about Brooke Lopez. The fact that he did not make a three-pointer until his seventh season in the NBA but added that long range to his game to become a stretch five and a valuable piece to the Bucks 2021 20, title run. What an amazing career arc for one Brooke Lopez. Memphis has gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Morant outside. Pass to Jackson. Over Yon. And the rejection by Anagakumbo. Middleton with it. Off the mark and the drop continues. Grizzlies have gone three and seven on field goal attempts here in the second half. Here's Conchar, defended by Allen. Lopez with the block, and so the ball goes out of bounds. Lopez touched it last. I'm out call the Grizzlies. You look at Eddie Kumbo really making a difference here. Absolutely on fire. That they need to regroup and figure out a way to slow his roll. Morant kicks to Adams. Some nice passing there by Memphis. And again, Memphis, no good. And, and, and really credit their advantage on the backboard. That's where the lead has been built, and that's why they are in control. To the paint, here's Allen. Good, and the assist goes Recent to Middleton. Allen. Allen's got nine points. Now that's how you draw it up right there, a screen to shed the defense, a quick move to the bucket, and you get the lay-in. Back to Morant. Here's the pass to Adams, feeds to Brooks. Jackson trying to break free. Yeah, it goes in, and the Milwaukee lead is cut down to six in the bucket from Brooks. A wonderful awareness from the big man as Stephen Adams finds the open man. Allen for three, hands it from downtown. Allen's got three six points. points in the quarter. Oh, man, this would be a different ball game if they didn't have this type of scoring to rely on. Brooks feeling it out a bit. It's tipped. It's stolen by to Takumbo. And Carter has it in the corner. It's rebounded by Memphis. And here's Morant. He's got 11. Carter outside. Allen outside. Pass to Middleton. Down to five on the shot clock. Two open that time. It's Made it look too easy. And it's an 11 point Bucks lead. That's smooth shot selection from Middleton. That is definitely a spot he can get the job done from. This is it to Concho. And the foul That's called on Antetokounmpo. That's his fourth foul of the contest. Foul. Second team foul. Morant outside. Jackson against Antetokounmpo. Four on the clock. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It goes on Giannis Antetokounmpo. And this is where Jackson feasts. And at times, he's just too overwhelming for the D, which results in the foul. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots.
He misses the free throw. Some changes for Memphis. Clark, he's checked in for Adams. Williams comes in for Brooks. And Tyus Jones subbed in for Kanjar. Bobby Portis is checked in for Milwaukee. Hill comes in for Carter. And he sinks the second. Bucks leading by 10. Allen outside. He's looking for Middleton and finds him. And the basket is good. Middleton's got six. Staying confident in the paint. Middleton does a good job sinking that one. I'm out called the Grizzlies. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. Yeah, they're like a four-day-old soda right now, just flat. They're missing shots left and right and just not playing their best. Get on your feet and It's tipped. Now Hill. Now here's Middleton. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Look how hard Middleton takes this one right into the paint, getting way too physical for the D to deal with. And a crucial look here at the hustle stance for the Bucks. A high effort brand of defense has been paying off for them in this one. They've managed to either block or alter a ton of their opponent's shots. Well, the other part about tonight, you got to give credit to the coaching staff. They came in here with a great game plan, defensively locked in. They were ready for the sets. They jumped in passing lanes. They came away with steals. I mean, they anticipated just about everything. Brent, with the way shooting has evolved, do you think they might move the three-point line further out at some point? I don't know if that's going to happen anytime soon, but I have heard some great ideas, and who knows? Middleton hits them both. The Grizzlies trail by 14. Outside Williams. Pass to Clark. Kicks it to Jones. Some nice passing there by Memphis. The pass to Williams. Jackson with it. Just five on the clock. Releases. Williams can't get it to go. Here's Milwaukee now. They're on an 11-3 run. That one doesn't drop. Excellent D that time from Jones. Over in the corner, Williams. Back to Jones. Outside Jackson. Over Middleton. And another miss by Memphis. Milwaukee leading by 14. Here's Nora. He has six. Pass to Portis. Middleton inside the three-point line. No, sir. Jackson Jr.'s shot blocking abilities, part of why he was a top five pick back in 18. Here's Williams. Doesn't go for him. The Bucks go the other way with it. Outside Hill. Passes to Antetokounmpo. Over Jones. And Antetokounmpo gets it to go. Giannis has got 18 points in the game does such a good job with patience inside as Giannis finds some room strong in the interior. Jones against Hill. Jackson finds Jones. To end the cold streak. Rebound Milwaukee. Portis has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Middleton outside. to Antetokounmpo. He claims that one off the back iron and down it falls. Antetokounmpo's got 20 points. And so it's Jones. He'll bring it up for the Grizzlies. 
It's an 18-point game. Jackson trying to break free. Hill with some nice D. And you have to like how they're moving the ball right now. Snappy passes to ready shooters. It's basketball 101. But boy, is it working. Here's Giannis. Kept alive. Mora. And that one is hammered home. And, you know, it's one thing to get the offensive rebound, but then how about the loud bucket he's able to convert? He was in perfect position under the hoop, Greg. You're right. Once he gets his hands on the miss. There's Williams with the three, and the three ball is good. Williams has got his second bucket. Pretty much not a player in the league is going to pass up a shot like that so much on the defense. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Whether things are good, bad, or indifferent, coaches will have adjustments to make throughout the course of the game. They're not just there to pump up or to discipline players. You've got to make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out. And Memphis making a change here. Aldama's checked in, and Milwaukee also making a switch. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for Chris Middleton. Mora, that's good. Mora's got five points in the quarter. Well, that Greek freak nickname is, is apropos. I mean, he can handle it, he can pass it. The combination of size and athleticism, what a talent. And they call an illegal screen here. You know what, you've got to play smart when you're trailing. Margin for error much smaller, yet they continue to make mistakes. Forty-three seconds left to play in the third. Hill with it. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two and the free throw line. First personal foul. It's going to go on Tyus Jones. Yeah, George Hill has good size and is broad in the shoulder, so he can play physical at that point guard position, and the defense has to be cautious when they guard him. Free throw drops for Hill. Both free throws good from Hill. And right now at about 85% from the line, that's up from where it was in that first half. Williams against Connaughton. Outside Williams. Takes it inside. That's foul. Giannis Adetokounmpo. Six personal foul. Grizzlies have gone 9 of 13 from the line. At the line for your Grizzlies. Zaire Williams. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. And Williams drops them both. Here's Hill. Six points for him. Pass to Portis. With four seconds on the clock. No good on the way up. And so it's Milwaukee closing out the quarter with a 20-point lead. Their defense has been active and effective. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. And he's always been uh, the favorite to bag this honor. These kind of feeds are his bread and butter. Doesn't happen with every point guard in the league as far as setting your teammates up. Lots more scorers now, but right there creating the scoring opportunity for his teammate. 
And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Setting the floor for the Bucks, Chris Middleton is out there with Ibaka. Then it's Brooke Lopez. Then there's Hill. And it's Nora in at the two. And the pass to Concha. Not going to go that time. And Milwaukee will come the other way. Here's Middleton. Good, and it's Hill picking up the assist. Hill's got three assists now in this one. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. Back to Brooks. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That's on Brooke Lopez. We're seeing a lot of pretty lively pregame dance routines from the players. You got any of that in your repertoire, say, before we begin a broadcast? No. Kevin, Kevin, I think pretty soon we should work out a few sequences. Take a break. You know, Take a break. ourselves fired up. You, you game? No. Come on, Greg. I'm not sure about that. But you, you go ahead and do it. <laughs> and that one falls for Brooks. And both free throws good for Brooks. Milwaukee leading by 20. Bounce pass Middleton. Here's Nora. Pass to Ibaka. With his first shot attempt. Second chance shot. He takes it up and lays it in. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. Knocked loose. Pass to Brooks. Here's Tillman. Memphis moving it around. Six on the shot clock. Here's Eldama. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. Brett, we've seen star players continue to angle their way onto what some would call super teams. Uh, is that good or bad for the league? Uh, I think at some point Take that's going to probably play Two itself shots. out. I mean, every organization, Kevin, quite frankly, is looking for the best talent they can. So if you could pile up three, four, five, you're going to do it. But at some point financially, it just doesn't make sense. So um, I think there's going to be a time when you're going to see that dissipate a little bit as teams put themselves together. Off on that one, so he goes one for two at the line. Bucks leading by 21. Middleton up top. Lopez outside. Jacks up a three. Good, and the assist Brooke goes to Middleton. For three. Middleton's got his eighth assist in the game. I mean, think about it. Seven seasons it took for Lopez to hit his first NBA three, and now that's where he's a threat. to Conshaw. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. Conshaw's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Hill gets to Middleton. And there's the pass to Nora. Looking for Ibaka. He gets it there. Aldama with the rebound. Aldama's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here's Conshaw. And the layup's good off the glass. Milwaukee has gotten the three-point bug tonight. They've taken 15 shots outside the arc. They're six of 15. Middleton the pass to Ibaka. He kicks to Hill. That one falls. George Hill. And the Bucks lead by 21. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Tillman passes to Brooks. To the wing on the left. Here's Conshaw. 
And that'll be Memphis as it goes out of bounds. Grizzlies retain possession. Hill against Jones. Pass to Tillman. And it's plucked by Ibaka. Well, this will always be a part of Serge's game. Rim protection on the inside. That's nasty. On the wing hill, defended by Jones. Fade away. And Brooke Lopez, Brooke the bucket Lopez. on the assist by Hill. I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. Jones, the best to Concha. Back to Jones. Last season, of course, Marcus Smart on the Defensive Player of the Year. You know, Greg, it, it's rare to see a guard win it. Should perimeter players get more consideration from this point on? Uh, it's tough, Kev. Yeah, I, I do think they should. And I think the, the numbers, though, tend to favor the rim protectors. But it's only right to recognize great defense at every position, especially in an age of positionless basketball. Yeah, the length of George Hill can create some problems George for some Hill. defenders. Sometimes they're forced to foul him. They did there. Two. Two. And he makes the first. And one difference this have is that when they get to the line, they're converting. Grayson Allen's checked in for the Bucks. Carter comes in for Serge Ibaka. That one is no good. For Memphis, they've gone just 33% for the field in the fourth quarter so far. They are two of six. They get it back. Brooks. Excellent D there from Hill. And here's Hill, who will bring it up for the Bucks. They lead by 24, their biggest margin. Passes it to Allen. Carter against Brooks. Carter down low. Clock at four. Great open look there. Allen's got nine points now in just the second half. Well, he just nailed his second three of the half, guys. I'd be very aware of that if I were the defense right now. Pass to Eldama. Brooks against Hill. Here's Conchar. Looking to end the run. Carter pulls it in. Carter's got five rebounds tonight. Here's Allen. It's rebounded by Memphis. Conchar's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Jones kicks to Brooks. Outside, Jones. The pass to Tillman. From deep. Rebound, Milwaukee. He missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm-ups. Oh, no, I know he can make it, but th that's warm-ups. So maybe just a step too far. Not getting old here. Seeing him make that lead pass with perfect timing. Jones kicks to Brooks. Here's Tillman. Conchar, the pass to Eldama. To the middle, here's Brooks. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. Brooks has got four points this quarter. And with those points, he puts it into that 10-0 run by Milwaukee. Hill passes to Carter. Middleton left side. Gets Hill on the wing. Good, and the assist goes Four to Middleton. Two. Middleton's got nine assists now tonight. And after a first half in which their offense shot under 40%, they've got the lead, and they should count themselves to be lucky. Jones drives in. 
It's stolen by Carter. Here's Allen. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Second personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for the Bucks. Grayson Allen taking two shots. Free throw good from Allen. And some changes here for the Bucks. Serge Ibaka, he's checked in for Lopez. Atatacumbo comes in for Chris Middleton. And it's Pat Connington in for Carter. And he makes the first but misses the second. Memphis has gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Morant against Hill. Pass to Concho. It's tipped. It, but the effort's been there for him, just not getting the results. Hill kicks to Connaughton. Allen surveying the D. Passes it to Hill. Lots of room. And it falls over the rim and in. Hill's got nine points here in the second half. Now, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Back to Morant. Pass to Brooks. Now the pass to Concha. That drops and it comes off an assist from Brooks. They've been terrific from beyond here in the second. Hill dishes to Atatacumbo. Trying to get open is about. And the rejection by Jackson. Milwaukee's ball. And for the Bucks, Wesley Matthews. Bolchek. And here is Connaughton. Just four to shoot. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. Three points. Defensively, you can't afford to give him that kind of look, especially down this many points. Teachable moment there. Lapses like this are backbreakers. And Adams kicks to Morant. Pass to Concha. Fires for three. Rebounded by Serge Ibaka. Ibaka's got four rebounds in this game. Matthews scanning the floor. Got a piece of it. There's the three. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. Conchar's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. And then Morant slams it in. And you gotta close off those avenues to Morant. Once he gets in one, he is focused on dropping the hammer. Outside Matthews. Here's Bochamp, guarded by Morant. Here's Bochamp. And it's out of bounds. Out Last of touch her. by Morant. Bucks ball. From deep three-point range. And out of bounds out as of the Grizzlies her. gain possession. Grizzlies ball.
Memphis has gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. And finished off by Morant. And just so many different ways Morant can hurt you. Tonight, it's been with the scoring. Passes it to Bochamp. Now, Connaughton. Matthews up top. Five on the clock. Milwaukee, no good that time either. And for Memphis, their shooting in the fourth quarter has looked shabby, 38%. And finished off by Morant. How about the handles from the young fellow? Give Morant credit for taking the initiative and capitalizing. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say, mission accomplished now. For Milwaukee. This was a team performing to its uh, fullest capability. Uh, a, a hugely satisfying win. A, a, a game that not many will soon forget. And on the other side, one that I, I think most will try to forget. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And, and once it becomes official, this win gives them a nice confidence boost against this team. They'll face them twice more this season. And while there was some nice performances tonight, it definitely ended up being a solid outing for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Just an outpouring of points from him. Nobody could do much to keep him from dropping it in. The Bucs need to get a shot off here. From deep. The shot that time, not on target. Now the Grizzlies take it the other way. Here's Conchar. He's defended by Connaughton. Adams against Tabaka. Adams the best to Morant. Offensive rebound. It is now to Jackson. Pass to Conchar. Back to Jackson. And there's the Back whistle. Screen. Illegal screen. Well, when a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to blow the whistle. Yeah, a quick little lean like that is going to get the ref's attention. Foul call. So no problem for Milwaukee as they get the win. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. Hey, you know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much. Giannis, a dominant performance. What is the level that this team is playing at? It's amazing, man. I think uh, the whole group, the whole team played hard. The whole team was ready. Everybody stepped up. And, you know, this is what makes uh, the average uh, team from a great team or a good team. I know you guys are looking for great and not good. Congrats on the win. Back to you guys.